chapter 15, verse 35. He says, it may not happen during the years 45 to 47 AD. In this journey, he has touched a number of places and he was able to bring a number of people to Christ. It is only a for him is to preach the word of God. His only way, his only aim is to proclaim about Christ. Second missionary journey he did, you can find in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verse 36 to chapter 18, verse 22. This might have taken place in the year between years 51 to 53 AD. Even those years touching different places again St. Paul ceaselessly spoke about the Lord. I made in a third missionary journey that we can find in the Acts of the Apostles chapter 18 verse 23 to chapter 21 verse 17. It might have taken place in the years between 54 to 58 AD. Even during this time about Jesus Christ. His faith is to proclaim about Christ, nothing else. The one who persecuted Christian community in the beginning was dare enough to speak about Christ even to accept death. He was not afraid to accept death. And he was imprisoned in Judea between the years 50 to 58 to 60 AD. Then in the year 60 to 61, he made in a journey to Rome. And he was imprisoned in Rome between the years 61 to 63 that we heard in the reading of today. He was in prison, but he never stopped speaking about Jesus Christ. The final words of the first reading, he says, He welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God, teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ, which all boldness and without endurance. Dear brothers and sisters, what we need to learn and what we need to see in St. Paul that his vigor is a desire to speak about Christ. I heard a, I read in a story about a Chinese pastor who was preaching about Christ in China. He was imprisoned a number of times for the preaching, open preaching that he was doing, we know in China they are not allowed openly preach, proclaim about Christ. And he was in prison a number of times. And he was in the prison beaten. And the journalists, they asked him, they were beating you, they were imprisoning you, what is that that gives you so much of strength to proclaim about Christ? He said, and he said, the more they beat, the more stronger they have become to speak about Christ. A reflection for all of us, dear brothers and sisters. How much, how we speak about Jesus Christ. 
how many times that you have faithfully spoke about christ in the time of trials will you able to still speak about christ in time of difficulties struggles either in the family or in your life will you able to speak about our lord jesus christ st paul said remember this whoever sows sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously and if you speak about christ definitely the lord will speak about you in heaven let us not become weary in doing good works for at that time at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up dear brothers and sisters we walk by faith not by sight with this message let us in a special way pray to our blessed mother through intercession we will ask that she may protect she may bring all our prayers to our lord jesus christ let us pray in a special way for this pandemic the lord may be merciful to those towards the humanity and to the whole world he may protect us this a terrible pandemic and also let us pray for the people who are suffering with this virus and those who are dying let us remember them let us pray for them and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church as we receive this heavenly sacrament we beseech your lord your mercy that we who rejoice in honoring our blessed mother our lady of elankani may by imitating her so worthily the mystery of our redemption 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God and to praise and bless and glorify your name as we honor our Blessed Mother Our Lady of Belangkani for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit she can see the only begotten Son and without losing the glory of virginity brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominion, sorrow, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with the exaltation. May voices we join, we pray, join with us in a humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, enter willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you are held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together for Francis our Pope, Oswald Gracious our Bishop, and all the bishops and the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. In a special way, let us remember those who have died because of this coronavirus. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet eternal alive, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As one family gathered around the table of the Lord, let us pray in the words of our Savior, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and gracious will grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and bread of Christ. That you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. 
and unite myself wholly to you mary which bore Never the son of eternal father to be separated from In a, special in a special way, way we pray for, we pray all, for of all of our community members, members families, families, friends and friends relatives. And for the good health and comfort, for the sick and suffering in the hospitals and in our homes, for peace and understanding in the families, for a happy settlement in marriage, for vocation to the priesthood and religious life, for accommodation, for shelter, relief to the poor and marginalized, for the gift of children, for safe confinement, for success in studies, for employment, for promotions, for cure from drugs, alcoholism and other addictions. Let us also in a special way pray to the Lord that so that he may protect us and heal us from this COVID-19 pandemic. In veneration of the love and joy with which your heart was replenished when the word was made flesh in your womb, I offer you the sentiments of my heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mother of God, accept these salutations in union with the veneration with which the angel Gabriel first aid you full of grace. I wish most sincerely that these may become so many gems in the crown of your celestial glory. Mother Mary, to your keeping, soul and body we can find, toiling, resting, walking, sleeping be ever at our side, cares that vex us, joys that please us. Life and death we trust in you. You make yours all for Jesus and for all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we will rejoice in honoring our Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Melancholy. May by imitating her so worthily the mystery of her redemption, we ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Today is heaven on earth. Oh, could the trans.
comes both last I think of thee and what thou art Thy majesty, thy state And I keep singing in my heart 